Well, hello everyone, this is Brett Darian, and today we'll be taking a look at a clock radio from my childhood. This is a Zenith clock radio with a CD player on top. And, and you don't really see much from Zenith these days. Uh, they used to be a pretty big name in electronics, but you really don't see them anymore. Um, but anyway, though, this is, uh, like I said, this is from my childhood. My parents actually bought me this when I was, like, five years old, maybe six. And I remember how excited I was to get it because it had a CD player. And I was like, yeah, I can play CDs in my room. So I was really excited for that. But I really just use this as, like, an alarm clock and just a little clock radio, you know, to, you know, to fall asleep to. So that's really all I used it for as a kid. But then as I got older... I kind of stopped using it and got my own little clock, and and now this has been sitting in my mom's garage for many years, and it was really dirty. I did kind of clean it up a little bit, um, but it's still got some crud, and it looks like something may have spilled on at some point, too. You can see some, like, spots here inside the grills, which I can't really get to. Um, but anyway, though, yeah, so this is a clock radio, first of all. It's got the... You got your radio dial right here, and of course your clock. Very bright display right here, still very bright today. And you can set that by just holding down the time button, and then you can press slow up, or slow down, or fast up. So, that was some nice options there, and you also have a sleep timer. And here's a look at the top. So you got your volume control. And you even get a tone control here, so you're making the music sound a little duller or higher. It's kind of like a treble control. And you got your on and off switch. And this is... And you push it to the left to turn on your alarm. You can have it set to wake up to music or to buzz. And here's a demo of what the buzzer sounds like. So whenever I heard that, I knew it was time to go to school. And up here you have a choice of alarm one and alarm two, and and all the way to the left there is how you operate the CD. And you also have a headphone jack, which is pretty nice. And over here you got your CD controls, play and pause, stop, next track and previous track, and you can repeat a track. And you can also choose between between AM and FM and FM stereo for the radio. Now there is no like display uh, down here uh, that shows you what CD track you're on, or it doesn't keep track of the length of the track or anything like that. Just it's. Uh, this screen just displays the clock and nothing else, so there is no on-screen display of any sort. Now here's a look at the back. See you have this little short little antenna wire uh, for your FM reception and maybe your AM reception too. I'm not sure. I don't see any other antenna for AM. And here's the back label. This is a model ZG650G. I tried to look that up and I could not find any information at all about this uh, particular clock radio. And I couldn't even find any sold eBay listings or anything. So I'm not exactly sure how rare this clock radio is. And this is the battery backup for the clock. I remember when I was a kid, I thought these batteries would actually, like, power the whole radio. But, you know, but they don't. They're just for, uh, for battery backup. If I can get this out of here. This battery's been in here a long time because it's dated... 2006 so this battery's been in here for like 20 years and this was manufactured in July of 1994 all right so let's try the radio you can see here it does have a backlit radio dial so then you just tune it here using this dial no that's on AM and we can do AM first how people feel uh, about specific issues. Dot com. A few cows and horses, 
and cheap. And... <laughs> BMWs to Mercedes to. The dog does make a creaking noise because, again, this is pretty old. Now. But yeah, AM reception seems to be okay. Um, I mean, for just having this little wire in the back here, it's, it's not too bad. So now we'll switch to FM stereo. And you do have these little lights up here. Uh, this green light means the radio is on. And when you see a red light here, that means it's getting a stereo signal. And the green light over here to the left means you're in CD mode. So let's continue trying here. Wait a minute, what? Yeah, up to 150 off Michelin's and up to 220 off Cooper's, plus a free alignment. Alignment? So, so it actually gets pretty loud, and it actually sounds pretty good. Hi, Alabama. Yeah, it is a little scratchy because it's old. Um, it could, if you take it apart and do a little cleaning, it may sound a little better. You've never called me that. All right, so so the radio actually seems to work pretty well. All right, so now let's try playing a CD. Uh, now this does have a problem playing CDRs since this is an older CD player. Um, but I will try to play one. This is just a regular CDR. So now we put it in CD mode. And when you first put it in CD mode, it spins up for a couple seconds and then it stops. And then you just try pressing the play button and it will and it will attempt to read the CDR. But it does not want to read this one. And now it just gave up. So, so it will not read this particular CDR, though I do want to say that I have gotten it to read CDRs in the past. Uh, they may just have to be burned a certain way or be a certain brand of disc. So we'll try playing a regular CD. Now this Magic in the Streets Parade Memories from 2001. Of course, you can still skip tracks. Mickey Mouse to Animal Kingdom. Mickey Mouse to Animal Kingdom. Come in, Animal Kingdom. Uh, but unfortunately, you cannot actually skim through tracks. Like if you press and hold the skip button. It would just skip to the next track, or maybe even the last track. You cannot actually, like, search through tracks. So that's unfortunate. But you can go to the previous track. get really loud and it sounds pretty good you know for these little speakers they're probably like three inches so it's really not bad at all and here's a demonstration of the tone control so you see the sound gets brighter when you have it on high and it gets a bit duller as you have it on low so now I'll try hooking up the uh, the headphone jack 
to my camera's microphone output and we'll see how that sounds. And that was the Zenith clock radio from my childhood. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. And subscribe if you want to. But anyway, this has been Brett Darian. I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.